Hello everyone, Victor here. In this video I will show you the process I did to create this animation and well, you will see the time lapse of the process and I will give some explanations at certain points of what is happening there. Uh, I didn't know how to share this process so I'm trying this way and I don't know, uh, if you find it boring or you miss something Please let me know in the comments so I could improve my future videos. For this scene or this cinematic footage, I was inspired by the game Apsu, uh, which has this evil triangle thing that, well, is clearly evil. And I really enjoyed the atmosphere where you find this giant structure and these little ships floating around, and then. I wanted to mix this concept with this guy, the Stormtrooper. So here starts the time lapse, and I will explain just the more interesting parts of, of what I'm doing. Here I try to find a better way to, to make this triangle shape and at the same time place a mirror modifier to model just uh, one part of it. So I place this empty object at, at the same origin as the object and then select this empty as the object offset of the array. So when you rotate it, then the, the empty object will affect this array position. And then with the merge option you can merge those vertex and to close the mesh then try to yeah, have a nice watertight mesh. Here I'm just playing with the knife tool, looking for a nice shapes and always having the reference at my side. And here, as you can see, I start using the hard ups and box cutter add ons for Blender. I recommend you this, this add on if you are making a lot of hard surface modeling or designs. It's just a fun thing to work with the booleans. And yeah, you just draw some shape and join it or, or cut it in a really fast way. And it's really a pleasure to the first steps of the design having this, this add on is really great. Here I'm just looking for nice shapes and nice balance, making some cuts or joining some other parts. And even I have the reference at my at my side screen. I just. Uh, Improvise a little bit. At these stages of the modeling, where I'm looking for nice shapes and nice balance of the overall design, I'm just uh, I listen some podcasts or or 
play some music on the background and just enjoy this this process. With hard ups, as you can see, we can scroll through all these booleans, operations, and all these modifiers to have the this overall look of this of the design of the, and the process. And here I'm just duplicating the mesh, deleting all booleans, and just start again with with a new shape and the overall process from here so on is, is just the same
at some point of this modeling process I I like to to start experimenting a bit with the lighting and and some pretty basic material and see how the shadows work because the, the shadows as you can see are revealing the amount of detail that you have on your on your model and also it helps to to break this monotony of uh, of the modeling stage and and you can continue modeling more motivated
And now, once I'm happy with the overall design, I start to, to reorganize the outliner a little bit and start applying boolean operations but leaving some useful modifiers as the bevel or the mirror and finally I clean a bit some weird topology due to booleans and we're good to go Then, with this clean mesh, I make a new collection in order to add this mesh as a collection instance. So, in this way I can rotate it, scale it and move it without affecting the, the original mesh. Here, as you can see, I'm tweaking a bit the original mesh and the instance is automatically changing. So it's, uh, it's a really useful technique. At this point, I import the Stormtrooper as a linked object from other blend file and here starts one of the most difficult parts which is blocking out the scene and basically exploring concepts and start the thinking process of what I want to achieve or what I want to tell And honestly, at this point, I'm not entirely sure of, of where is it going. But I know that eventually, uh, at some point, you will find something that kind of works. And you continue with this path. So finally I came with this concept of the Stormtrooper going through this runway or corridor and entering to like a giant room uh, where this evil triangle is floating and suddenly it comes to the Stormtrooper like in a menacing way. So just follow this, this concept and continue on.
as you can see the stormtrooper is now walking and since I'm very new to rigging what I did is I imported the stormtrooper to Mixemo and I applied three different animations which means that you download three different FBX files so I had like three different set of keyframes and I just copy paste it into one of the characters to have the, the entire animation Then for the small floating ships, I did a particle system with another instance collection of the ship and it's just a sphere emitter with a vortex 4 field to move the particles or the little ships. Here I wanted to first open the door and then the guy waits uh, a little to pass in so I readjust the keyframes on the source file and the great thing is that this will be updated on your project once you restart it because it's linked.
here I'm making a gradient mask to give the sensation of infinite wall. And when you have a volume and something with an alpha mask behind, behind this volume, you have to set the blend mode on alpha hashed in the material properties. Uh, otherwise, in conjunction with uh, volume, the alpha or the transparent part wouldn't work, as you can see here. So the material of the plane set to alpha hashed and on. Then it's time to set the cameras, trying to find some cool camera fly-through, uh, good composition, balance, and at the same time taking into account how the different shots will show not only the characters, but also the environment, and trying to tell the story with, with these shots.